One in four school kids in America is bullied on a regular basis. If there was an easy solution, all the schools would be using it by now. Instead, district by district, school by school, new approaches are being tried. Nine News storyteller Kevin Torres found a unique one being considered in the Alamosa School District in the San Luis Valley. <laughs> school board meetings are the sort of places where board takes on a whole new meaning. We're committed to excellence. <laughs> Yeah. Right there. Boring for adults and even more boring for children. <laughs> so much so, counting the board, board members becomes a game. One, two, three, four, five. But the countdown to what's about to happen quickly changes the mood. I was nervous just talking to my mom and dad still. <laughs> it actually surprised me very much. Not too long ago, John Griffin's daughter Isabella told him about some mean girls at school who were bullying her. They were picking on me because of my clothes and how I look. She went on to tell him about the special needs kid in her class who was also getting bullied, except he was getting it worse. I thought that that was really mean, so I wanted to help him. And then she told him this. I stood up for myself, and I would like to stand up for others, too. Pledge to be a buddy, not a bully. Standing up for others by standing in front of the school board. You are making a commitment to yourself, your fellow students. Isabella came up with a plan called Be a Buddy and Not a Bully which asks students to sign a pledge against bullying. A rubber bracelet showing... When they do, they're given a bracelet to wear around school to show their support. Now, basically, it entitles the kids to actually step in. Okay. Oh, my gosh. The idea was so successful, the Alamosa School District implemented it through all of its K-5 through five schools. And if not for the likes of our students along the lines of Isabella Griffin, yeah, we'd have our, our hands full. <laughs> As you can imagine, doing all of this at the age of nine hasn't been a piece of cake. <laughs> Quite frankly, what Isabella Griffin has accomplished so far has been pretty sweet. Thank you. In Alamosa, this is Kevin Torres, 9 News. More than 1,000 students in Alamosa are expected to sign Isabella's pledge in early December, and there's talk that the nearby Monta Vista School District is considering her plan as well. The kids are pretty smart and good problem solvers. Sometimes that's a problem that is just too big to even tackle. Okay. Well, now this is a visible sign for the kids to look around and say, that kid's got my back. That kid's got my back. Yeah. It's pretty cool. That's awesome. Good for Isabella. All right, we want to go to the backyard.